Join the community, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and subscribe to this channel and thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it. So the other day I saw a video by Grandpa78 Sports TV. You know, the uh, old king who runs the LDBC. That guy, you know. I haven't watched his, his uh, channel in a long time. I don't really watch the LDBC uh, videos like that. You know, I, I always get comments telling me that, you know, what the LDBC said. But it's like I don't really watch it. I don't watch the videos. I, 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 don't, I watch them like maybe once every year. You know, it's not even a thing. I'm not even joking. I'm not consistent with their videos. But I took the time to watch one of their videos. And I see 78 Sports TV, the leader, talking about that. Anthony, he always knew. Because, you know, when it comes to 78 Sports TV, he always says that he always knew. Like, he knows. Like, he got connections. Right? The only connection he has is being a fanboy of Deontay Wilder and being paid money from Deontay Wilder to talk highly about him. That's the only connection he really has. I don't know how much Deontay Wilder pays him, but he definitely pays him. Um, and he was talking about that he always knew. You know, the whole LDBC always knew that Anthony Joshua was going to face Dillian White. It was never going to be Deontay Wilder. It was never going to be Deontay Wilder. He always knew. But it's like... 78 Sports TV, you do realize that we always knew the people on this side. Because, you know, when it comes to the 78 Sports TV, the, LB, the LDBC, he tries to separate people, right? He says we got the Deontay Wilder fans. I mean, he, we got the LDBC who only support Deontay Wilder, right? If you guys didn't know, 78 Sports TV is a big, big Deontay Wilder fan. I mean, the guy, the guy's intro starts out with a Deontay Wilder in your face. <laughs> Literally with the guys with his mask. You know, in your face. So, that's a fanboy right there, right? He's like the biggest Deontay Wilder fan. And like I said, he gets uh, some money on the, on, you know, behind the scenes. I, I truly believe that Deontay Wilder pays him money to talk highly about him. Um, because, you know, you how can you defend a guy like Deontay Wilder for several years when you see he's blatantly ducking guys unless you're getting paid for it, right? So, yeah, anyway, uh, Mr. 78 Sports TV says that Dylan, you know, he always knew that Anthony Joshua never had plans to face, you know, you know, Mr. Deontay Wilder. He always knew he was going to play fight Dylan White April, right? But like I said, and the people on our side, we always knew that Deontay Wilder was going to face Dominic Brazil. We always knew that, right? This is why I made a vi I've been making videos for months, for months, for months. Telling you people that Deontay Wilder has no plans on fighting Anthony Joshua in the year 2019. He's going to wait into the year 2020. I've been telling you people for months that he's going to be fighting Dominic Brazil this year, 2019. Right? And then he's going to fight some other guy. To use that guy to avoid Anthony Joshua. And that guy ended up being Tyson Fury, right? He's hiding behind the Tyson Fury rematch. He's hiding behind the Tyson Fury rematch in order to not face Anthony Joshua next. He could have taken this Tyson, this Anthony Joshua fight, this offer, on April 19th. I know, excuse me, on April 13th to face Anthony Joshua to unify. But he wants no, no parts of Anthony Joshua. He blatantly ducks Anthony Joshua and says, no, no thank you. I want Tyson Fury, and that's all I want. And then he... Into, has another interview and never mentions Anthony Joshua. Says, if Tyson Fury doesn't want to fight me, I'm not going to. Then the next guy I will fight will be Dominic Brazil. That's that's the only way I'll fight Dominic Brazil next. He never mentions Anthony Joshua. Why doesn't he say, you know what? If if Tyson Fury doesn't want to fight me in a rematch, the next guy will be Anthony Joshua because he's calling me out. He's saying he wants to unify, right? But all he's thinking about is Dominic Brazil. All he's thinking about is the other option, the mandatory. Because he's, he's already planning on hiding behind the mandatory excuse. That's what's going to happen, 78 Sports TV and the entire LDBC community. If Deontay Wilder does fight Tyson Fury, whenever they fight, whether it's April, whether it's May, I guarantee you 
this guy is going to be facing Dominic Brazil next after that. Probably sometime in September. He's going to hide behind that. He's my mandatory. If I don't fight him, they're going to strip me excuse. And you LDBC guys are going to be making videos saying he's forced to fight Dominic Brazil. Because if he doesn't, they're going to strip him. Right? Well, you're saying propaganda. And then talking about how Anthony Joshua needs to man up and fight uh, Deontay Wilder. You could tell by the way some of these guys talk that they don't believe what they're truly saying. Like, sometimes, I, I, you know, like the other day, I took the time to listen to some of their videos. And it's like, you could tell they know what they're talking is full of shit. You know they're talking full of shit. They know that they're, they're just bullshitting. Because the way they're talking, they, they, they could tell they're not even, they're not even, uh, like, uh, it's just like a, a, a comic relief thing. It's just like for them, for a lot of these LDBC guys, is I know that. Anthony Joshua is being avoided by Deontay Wilder, but this is the LDBC, you know, shout out to the LDBC, so I'm just going to be defending him, even though I know, you know, defending Wilder and trashing Joshua, even though I know it's Wilder's fault, because, you know, LDBC for life. By the way, you know, <laughs> I, I heard uh, 78 Sports TV say, you know, we everybody knows the LDBC and stuff, but to me, it looks like the LDBC is dying, man, because... There was a time when I uh, when I when I was just a subscriber, a subscriber, and just a guy who would watch other boxers, I mean other boxing channels commentary, and listen to their opinions. Well, the LDBC seemed to be everywhere, right? It was always the LDBC, the LDBC. There was more LDBC boxing channels than rational boxing channels. But these days, there seems to be more rational boxing channels than LDBC channels, right? There's a, a way more rational channels now. You know, I don't even see, you know, there used to be a time where I would like be um, watching videos and then in, the, in my recommendation, it would show me a bunch of LDBC's uh, recommendation videos. But now all I ever get is recommendation from videos from channels that are actually good, channels that are actually rational. Uh, so it seems like there's just way more rational boxing channels out there who actually use logic and aren't blinded by the truth. So it look it's like the the LDBC seems to be dying in my opinion, because uh, I I don't I like I said I had to search them up. It wasn't like before before they used to be popping up in my recommendation and you know they were everywhere. I would go on my YouTube channel on the front page you would see like three LDBC new uploads. But these days like I don't even see it. I have to search them up because, like I said, uh, maybe I I don't know. Like I said, I haven't been paying attention to these uh, guys for a long time because it just got. You know, it's just got like boring to me listening to the same crap and seeing them talk such nonsense. A lot of these guys are biased, you know. It's not just that, you know, a lot of these guys are patriotic, but it's not just that. It's just really they're biased and they're blinded, right? And they always blame the foreign fighter. They always blame the foreign fighter. You know, it's it's, it's always the Amer they always defend the American fighter and it's always the foreign fighter's fault, right? And if you talk crap about uh, Deontay Wilder, you're, you're this, you're that. You know, just look at the, their comment section, man. Look at their comment section, and it's also about you know, uh, uh, there's there's just there's some there's some there's some things in in their comment section that you read, and it's always talking about you know race. That's what I, what I notice. They're always bringing up race in their comment section. So, you know, you just compare that to my comment section or any rational. You know, you don't see anything about race, but you know, whatever. The point is this. I already knew at least. That Deontay Wilder was going to duck Anthony Joshua in the year 2019. And he will duck Anthony Joshua this year. Uh, and he's going to hide behind Dominic Brazil in the Tyson Fury rematch. And you guys are going to sit there and defend that. And say, nah, Anthony Joshua was the real ducker. Come on, guys. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.